on the channel, it's Mattel Basic Unboxing Manias. We've got Isaiah Swerve Scott, my girlfriend Mandy Rose, Joaquin Wilde, and Santos Escobar. Welcome everyone, Kyle here, and welcome back to the channel for another Mattel WWE Basics unboxing and review today with Mandy Rose, Isaiah Swerve Scott, Joaquin Wilde, and Santos Escobar. But remember, for all your Mattel needs, hit up Wrestling Collector Shop, use discount code Kyle and discount code Kyle10 to save. So basics, something we dabble with. I don't buy all the basics as you guys know, but when there's a character that only had a basic, maybe a first time in the line, or a character I just cherish and love like a young Mandy Rose, or something interesting looking at face paint and masks, old Kyle, he's going to jump into the old basics game and that's exactly what we have here today. Obviously not as detailed as the Elites, the Ultimate Editions, and so forth. So we're going to knock out four of these guys in one video as I have recently picked up these, as you saw on weekly purchases on the channel. So there it is. Let's get into it. Let's dig into these basics and see what all the fuss is about. All right, let's kick off the basic unboxings. We're going to do these like we do all the other unboxings on the channel. We're going to take a look at the packaging. We're going to talk about it. We're going to unbox it. We're going to talk about it. We're going to see where it goes from there, of course. And we're going to do this in order. Normally, my girl Mandy Rose would go first, but we're going to do it in series order. And we're going to start with series 125, Isaiah Swerve Scott. There he is in the package right there. Uh, newer packaging for this year, of course, on the basics that we've seen. Isaiah Swerve Scott, first time in the line, a member of Hit Row, and continuing the tradition of a lot of basics, first times in the line, getting two different colored releases. I believe, was it red, the other outfit he had? I ended up picking up green. I usually just get one. I don't really need the chase. Not that big of a fan. Uh, but a member of Hit Row, really seemed like he was on his way to superstardom on the SmackDown brand with the rest of his gang, and uh, things went south in a hurry, and they released the whole uh, team. So it was a very interesting time. Uh, I don't know what was going on there, but very solid-looking figure here. I uh, got the green tights going on. Uh, we'll get him out of the package. We'll talk about it. We got the WWE logo up top, Series 125, of course. Isaiah Swerve Scott, first time in the line. And then on the back of the package... And there he is. And then uh, it shows a little like uh, G.I. Joe classified type thing. He excels at being a high flyer. Of course, we got The Rock, Jeff Hardy, Elias, and Ember Moon. The god-awful Ember Moon figure on here. Uh, very interesting to note, a lot of Series 125, at least the first releases that were hitting Walmart stores where I picked this guy up, uh, a lot of these guys are falling off the card. The plastic, uh, the stickiness, the glue, whatever you want to call it, giving out on these and a lot of the other basics in the line. So that was a little bit disappointing. But I would say the majority of basic collectors probably open these things. They are for kids, after all. Uh, not a lot of people completing a min on card basic set. I would love to see somebody that has a min on card basic set. Uh, but we're going to get him out of the package, and he just kind of falls apart. So see you later. See you later. A little plastic prison. They got the half plastic prison now. Trying to save plastic, trying to save money. Got to do what you got to do. So they got that going on. See you later. Goodbye. Then we get to Isaiah Swerve Scott. So basic articulation. The articulation is going to be the same for all these figures. you got the arms that go all around. No bicep swivel. That is one thing that's sadly missing in basics the last few years. Uh, you get the elbows. you get the wrists that move around. Uh, at least he did get his tattoo work, and I am not familiar with all of his tattoos besides knowing he has tattoos. But it's nice that they did take the time to put a lot of these tattoos on this figure. You never know when somebody might never get an elite, and that's the case right here. So at least we got a pretty good colorful tattooed one of Isaiah Scott here. Uh, you do got the painted on uh, forearm wraps he's got. Like I said, the tattoos, all that kind of stuff. Then you get to the bottom, you got a nice belt with some nice decorations of the X and O's on the belt. I like that a whole lot. And you get the black, green, gray stripe color going on. And even some little bit of artwork on the side of the pants. So sometimes basics are very plain, plain Jane. We don't have that here. We got a little bit more, a little bit meat on the bones going on. Interesting with his socks up here painted on. It does look a little bit funny. We do got the boot swivel going on. There's the low boots on here. We do have knee pads. And oh my gosh, the basic articulation is so hard to move the, the legs and stuff to get these guys moving. But uh, fairly good figure. You get to the head sculpt. I know this is Isaiah Swerve Scott. Actually, I say this, I, if you took the head off and you said, hey, who is this? I'm not sure a lot of people would know. And that may be because he's not really ingrained in our mind like a Roman Reigns or some of the bigger stars out there. 
But you definitely know from the hair, nice dreads here, nice sculpting with that. Uh, you know, I bet you they're pretty sad they can't get more use out of this unless they can find somebody else. Uh, but this hair is very, very nice and something totally different than we've gotten in the past. Uh, the face does look like him, but it just looks kind of far and away. And that's what we get a little bit with those true effects scans. Uh, they look like him, but sometimes they look just a little bit off. And he kind of just looks a little glassy to me. Uh, just looks a little strange. Uh, does he fit on a stand? I'm sure he will. Uh-oh. 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 He does not fit on a stand. And I think we had this problem with a couple other basics earlier, that the peg hole is getting bigger on these uh, figures, so they're not going on the stand. So that is a bit disappointing there. Uh, that being said, though, he is a figure that stands very well on his own, as most basics do, so you don't necessarily need to stand with him. But it's always nice to have the option uh, if you are so inclined. So Isaiah Swerve Scott, not the greatest basic of all time, not the greatest figure of all time. However, that being said, first time in the line, I got to think he's going to be worth some money down the line just because this is it. This is your only chance. He didn't have a ton of elites, ton of different basics. Get him now or forever hold your peace is what I say. Get him while you can, while he's cheap. Now we move on to series 126 and business just picked up here. As we got my girlfriend, Mandy Rose. You saw me find her on the figure hunt at Target. Uh, I love me some Mandy Rose. I do honestly miss blonde-haired Mandy Rose, the dark hair NXT version. Not quite the same for me. Uh, she definitely looks better in blonde, in my opinion. But, hey, we'll take her any way we can get her. And we do know this is, once again, a Chase figure. As the Chase is, I believe, the pink-attired Mandy Rose. I'll probably pick that one up if I do stumble across it at retail. But I'm not going out of my way to pick it up. But if I see it, I will pick it up. I, I should just be a Mandy Rose completionist at this point. Might as well. I'm all in. I'm all in on Mandy Rose. Big fan. Big, nice glamour shot of the old days and the blonde hair. WWE 126. Mandy Rose on the side. Quite the heavy hitter lineup with uh, Mandy Rose. I would say she's probably the most uh, known and probably the best wrestler of the bunch of the group. I'm, I'm sure you guys would all agree. Macho Man, Bobby Fish, Drew McIntyre, Seth Rollins. I'm pretty sure Mandy Rose could out-wrestle all of them blindfold, right? I'm sure she could. Uh, we got Mandy on the back there. We got Mandy Rose. We got the little thing at the top. It says her uh, specialty is grappling. Oh, she's a grappler. Oh, the grappler. Uh, Better Roses, Kiss the Rose are her signature moves, and she is in 126 of the series. Plastic, much better attached, much better on this one than uh, Isaiah Swerve Scott. A uh, little rookie unboxing by me. I got it. I'll figure it out. I've done this a time or two. See you later, Mandy. Get out of here. First, I thought she had tattoos going on. That's a little trick there. And there's Mandy in the plastic prison. I like these half plastics on these. See you later. Goodbye. All right. Mandy is out. And, man, she's looking like a cloner from Cam Kaminoa or Cam Kaminio. Kaminio? Kaminoan? Kaminoan cloner? Uh, she looks a little scary. This is not the best Mandy Rose head sculpt going on. It looks like her. But it just looks like it's a little bit suspect. Uh, the eyes are a little goofy on this one. It's just not firing on all cylinders, unfortunately. Just uh, not the best head sculpt. They didn't do her the best favors here at all. Very tight articulation as we're used to with these female basics and male basics. Uh, wrist move, elbows move, shoulders move, of course. Painted on blue with a little bit of silvered polka dots and a little rose there. Uh, a few things here. I will say very sloppy paint applications. Got a lot of paint marks over here on the skin on this side, some on her back shoulder. Uh, so not the cleanest of paint on this one. Uh, you do get the boot cut right here, and then down here we got some black paint. So there's a lot of inconsistencies on this one going on. Uh, and then the face sculpt is not the best. A little bit shorter haired version of Mandy, as we know she did trim her hair down. It used to be a lot longer, so this is her first incarnation of a short hair Mandy. She does got that uh, tape on her shoulder, like a young Cesaro on here. So that is something uh, that we don't see very often. But all in all, ooh, not the best Mandy Rose figure. Obviously, it's a basic. Yes, it's for kids. It's a good playable figure. Uh, just not exactly my Mandy Rose, and she is the love of my life, of course. Uh, don't let my wife hear that, but yeah, she is. She fits perfectly on a stand, though, however, Mandy Rose. So uh, I don't know. We'll see. I'm going to still pick up that pink one if I see it just to have it. Uh, I like the look of that pink one, but we'll see. We'll see. Not the best. If you're getting a Mandy Rose figure, I'd recommend you probably stick to the Elite one. That's probably the way to go. Got to think we're going to be some more Elite Mandy Roses in 2022, so stay tuned for that. Now we turn our attention to Series 127, and these are hot off the truck from Amazon just this week. Uh, and it's Santos Escobar. No stranger to the line, as we did get an Elite version of Santos Escobar uh, not too long ago in the Elite lineup. So there's old Santos. 
uh, his basic, but he's got his half face paint on here. So he dabbles, man. He's in a suit. He's in face paint. He's in a mask. He's all over the board. Uh, pick your pick your lane, buddy. Pick your lane. But you guys know I love a mask. I love face paint. That's why I picked this one up because of the face paint, of course. Santos Escobar. On the back, you got the Joaquin Wild, of course. We've got Shayna Baszler. We got Keith Lee, final time of the line. And then, of course, Rey Mysterio Jr. Uh, so an interesting lineup of the Basics Series 127. What's it say his specialty is? High flyer. Oh, yes, those luchadors, they love a good high fly in action. So he does got some of that going on. Let's get him out of the package here. See what's going on with old Santos. See you later. Get out of here. Plastic prison. There it is. I like these tights. See you later. Whoa, off the screen, knocking things over. It happens from time to time. Uh, there's a lot to like about this one. Uh, the articulation is not one. It just feels very stiff, very unplayable, but uh, an interesting looking one. This purple black and kind of a yellowish silver look really good. It does pop especially. Uh, what really catches my eye is the Riddler question marks all over him. He's like the Riddler here. Uh, but then we got a lot of tattoo work like we saw with Isaiah Swerve Scott. We got tattoos throughout his body. And then we got a little uh, armband here that's painted on. Don't really like the painted on armbands. Uh, it seems like the white paint they use, especially on the forearm stuff, always ends up getting scratched. Uh, but he is coming ready to fight. He's got two fists on him. So this is a basic that's ready to throw down. Elbow pad going on. And then you got purple knee pads with the boot swivel. All the usual articulation we're used to. Uh, but I like the question marks. And I didn't know he had question marks because it's only on the backside. So... Uh, I did miss that. And then, of course, the face paint. Kind of got the Day of the Dead face paint going on here. Almost like Two-Face from Batman. I uh, got his hair up in a bun as well. Uh, not too shabby, especially if uh, you're looking to complete his whole faction in the basic form. Of course, we did get him before, and I actually picked up two of these. I got one on clearance on Amazon just to have, just to use both heads, because I'm a sucker for, for masks and face paint. You guys know that. Uh, and you could maybe move some of these heads around if you really wanted to. But it looks like he got all of his tattoos, uh, did translate over from the basic to the elite and vice versa. Uh, so we do like that going on. So Santos Escobar coming in hot. He's already got two figures. It doesn't feel like everybody knows who he is. I understand not everybody follows uh, NXT, uh, but he is a big player over there on NXT with uh, Legado de Fantasma. Is that what it's called? Uh, something like that. And they got Electra Lopez uh, recently. She, she, she's perked our attention as well. So a lot going on. And speaking of his group, Joaquin Wilde, the first entry to his group. And we're getting his partner in crime in the next series. Hopefully I'll figure that one out uh, very soon. So stay tuned for that one. Uh, but there he is. This one, though, is the chase figure here on Joaquin Wilde. As he does not have face paint with this one, but he does come with a mask, which will be interesting to see how well this fits. So I'll have to get the regular one with the face paint. Uh, so I'm going to have a couple of these guys. I don't know where I'm going to put them, but I'll figure something out. But face paint is the regular version. This is the chase version. I am uh, pretty sure. Pretty sure that's the case. WWE logo, first time in the line as well. Series 127. Same series we talked about before. Keith Lee, final time in the line. Get your Keith Lee while you can. Probably be a year, year and a half from now before Jazz Wars gets one for him. So if you want one, that's your last opportunity. His specialty is probably high flying as well. Yes, it is. Of course it is. Uh, finishing move, the 630 Centon and the Hostile Makeover. Uh, so good for old Joaquin Wilde. He's been around for a long time. See you later. Uh, he used to be DJ Z in uh, TNA Impact. I don't think he ever had a figure in those days. So this very well could be his first ever in first time in the line of any line figure. It does come with a mask, as we talked about. I like the basic set, giving us more suited bodies. I think that's a very smart move. See you later. Uh, we got the Miz coming soon in a nice suited body. Customizer's Dreams, you pop off that Miz head, you pop off, pop off Joaquin Wilde's head, and bam, you can move some things around, do some stuff. Comes with a nice chain accessory that is removable. That is pretty cool. Looks a lot like Joaquin Wilde. I always picture him as DJ Z, uh, but yeah, definitely looks different. He's got his suit going on. Uh, the suit coat is actually removable as well. Let's see. I might, well, first let's discuss this. Just your normal suit coat going on, but when you do take it off, if I can get it off... Well, I might not be able to get it off. Or I don't want to rip it, of course. But I think you could. If you or if you wanted to cut it off, you could if you didn't even want it. But he would just have a black, almost like an Under Armour shirt going on, which isn't a bad look either. So you could really choose your own adventure uh, with a little bit of that. But it looks just like him. But besides that, it's just a black suit. Not a lot going on with this one. So I, I know this one's not for everybody. He does come with a mask. Looks a lot like the mask superstar. Of course, Demolition Axe from back in the day. Uh, got a little bit of that going on with his head. So you could maybe... 
uh, used this mold on something else, but I believe when they first came in, they were under masks for a while, uh, tricked them, you know, they were good guys, and you know, you know how it goes in wrestling, but I like the looks. Actually, this looks really cool with a guy in a suit and a mask like this. Looks like some kind of crazy thug movie from some kind of mafia movie or something along those lines. Uh, I'm here for that. I can't wait to get his partner, and I can't remember his partner's name right now, uh, but he'll be coming soon, and we'll have him in a suit as well, so you can have those guys standing here, probably around this elite figure, Man, it still looks pretty good. I like this Joaquin Wild. I'll probably display this one this way, and then I'll get the other one with the face paint and put these guys together. Uh, you got to mix and match and move some things around with the old smoke and mirrors. You guys know how we do it here on the channel, and that's my plan uh, right there. So an interesting lineup. Some good, some bad, and honestly, some ugly, uh, but still worth it. $9.99, not going to break the bank. You can always find deals on some of these basics in your store, some clearances, or some sales online like Amazon. Uh, always fun to open some basics every once in a while. Like we always say, we just dabble in them a little bit. But what do you guys do? Do you complete them all? Do you dabble? Do you totally pass on them? Do you admire them from afar? Let me know in the comments down below your thought on these basics uh, that we unboxed here today. You made it this far, might as well thumbs up the video, subscribe to the channel, hit the old notification bell, follow along for all kinds of fun and really early video content and total separate content on the Patreon, of course, SirPaul64 on Twitter, Instagram, the underscore Kyle underscore Peterson and ProWrestlingTees.com, search Kyle Peterson. So for some basics, I am Basic Kyle. I will see you guys all real soon.